Hey guys, welcome back to Bombay TV. So today we'll be reacting to one of the best. Like he is good. I have huge respect for him. If you're a fan of Jordan Peterson, just hit the subscribe button because we're in love with the same thing, guys. He is an amazing man with great wisdom, and I love the way he speaks. I love the way he speaks, guys. He speaks with confidence. I feel this confidence isn't what you get from the gym, bro. You need to study. Like you're reading the Bible study to make yourself approved. We're going to be reacting to Jordan Peterson. How society lies to women. Shut. Let's get straight into this. You see the ONS data that came out a couple of weeks ago that said for the first time ever since records began, 50.1% of women are childless by 30. So there are more women without children at 30 than there are oh. women with children. The first yeah. time ever. Well, so uh, this is uh, somebody clipped a part of one of my podcasts, I believe it was, where I was talking about what, what our society does to 19-year-old women or 18-year-old women, 19-year-old women. They just lie to them all the time. You know, the first lie is there's nothing more important than your career. I saw this on TikTok. More or less by like. definition. So that's the first lie. The second lie is there will be nothing more important to you in your life than your career. So that's the second lie. And then the third lie is there should be nothing more important in your life than the, your career. So that's the third lie. And then it, implicit in that is the idea that children are a burden and that the idea that women should have children is part of the oppressive patriarchy and should be resisted. And who are men to tell me what I can do with my body? And Hey, fair enough. And et cetera, et cetera. Now, I've worked in female dominated occupations my entire life. I worked, for example, I worked as a daycare uh, worker way back when that was like 19, probably 80, something like that. And there were no men doing that, but I really liked kids. And so that was fun. And I worked for social services in Alberta in the, in the child care department. And uh, then I've been working as a psychologist either training or as a psychologist since then. And that's been a female dominated enterprise increasingly as the years went by. But even when I was first, when I first entered it. So I've, I'm in the post female in the workplace generation firmly. I never experienced the world except as that. And so I've watched women progress through their professional careers at every level of attainment from the lowest to the highest and observed what happened and relatively, I would say bias free because I didn't know. And what I've seen is that as women progress towards their late thirties, no late twenties, they, there's a psychological transformation. And what happens is that they place less emphasis on their career and way more emphasis, particularly on having a child. And that really reaches a crisis point around 29 or 30 for the vast majority of women and, and their attitude flips. And I've seen it flip very dramatically with many women. Um, and I suppose the most signal, single, most uh, convincing evidence of that, I worked with high-end lawyers in Toronto for about 10 years. I was part of an organization. We went to law firms high-end law firms and said, send us your most productive people and we'll help them iron out whatever wrinkles there might still be in their life. And the advantage to them is that things will go better for them. And the advantage to you is they'll be even more productive. And there's a good management dictum, which is pay the most attention to your most productive people because they're bringing in the bulk of your revenue disproportionately. And so I worked with men and women who were at the peak of their careers in a very difficult enterprise. And so these were women who were generally very attractive, um, well put together physically, pretty stable psychologically, extremely conscientious, very, very smart, and high achieving from like junior high all the way through high school, university, law school, onto uh, the top firms, rocketing up through the ranks, full partnership by the time they were 29 or 30. And all the law firms, all the women bailed out, all of them. The law firms couldn't keep them. 
and I, I was really, and I talked to the women a lot about a, lo a lot about this because I was very interested in it because I knew the law firms were bending themselves over backwards and tying themselves into knots trying to retain these women because why wouldn't they, you know, just, just being greedy capitalists is enough. You know, they don't want to lose their high performing women because they're performing at the highest level and they couldn't keep them. The women wanted to have nine to five jobs. They wanted to bind the job so they could have a life. And that was especially true once they got interested in having a child or had one. And what, what they really came to was a very uh, interesting realization. So because they were highly conscientious women, they sort of did their duty and, and worked hard and diligently and didn't pop their head up to ask questions. They were in junior high, they got the best grades. They were in high school, they got the best grades. And so on, all the way through, right till they reached partnership. But that's sort of an apogee, right? You hit partnership in a senior law firm, it's like you're at, you're at the top of your profession. Well, then what? Well, so then they looked around and they thought, hmm, here I am with all these like hyper competitive men, perfectly willing to work 80 hours a week, nonstop to stay at the top. What the hell are they doing? Guys, this is a shame this is the end, guys. Well, I enjoy what Jordan Peterson was saying, and I feel like, I, I feel recently, women feel they can do without men, and I feel that is a wrong ideology, because women can't do without a woman. Like, we are supposed to procreate, like we're supposed to give birth, and we need each other to do so, so. Guys, I want to think about this video, guys, in the comment section. Guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I don't want to talk much, so no one should come after me, so I'll see you in the comment section. Yes.